Hey, good morning. Let's go over today's trade plan. So in the overnight session, the weakness that we saw yesterday continued for a move down into 24.92, where responsive buyers stepped in and pushed the market back up towards 24.99 quarter. Heading into the open, we have initial support at 24.93 to 24.95. And we're also going to use that area as the micro bull bear zone to help us establish bias off the open. So if the buyers are holding ES above, 93 to 95 then there is still potential for the market to head higher into 24.99 quarter to 25.01 quarter and a break above that zone would then serve as a bullish confirmation and bring the 25.04 half to 25.06.75 resistance area into play in the event that we fail to hold 93 to 95 it could lead to a move down into 86.75 to 88.75 which is still an area where responsive buyers can be active and in the event that we get a bit more extended into 83 half to 85 half and especially 78 quarter to 80 quarter responsive buyers can also be active at those areas of support so unless we're seeing extreme weakness in real time something more indicative of a trend down type day we can still expect buyers to be active at the support areas below that being said if the market is going to head higher in any meaningful way back up towards pre-market resistance and initial resistance then ideally you want to see the buy side holding es above the 93 to 95 initial support zone looking at the other markets recently the weakness in nq has been impacting and dragging the s p down as well so in the event that nasdaq continues to head lower we do have some decent support in nq around 58.91 to 58.97 so if NQ gets exhausted into 58.91 to 58.97, that's an area where buyers can be active in NASDAQ. And if the S&P is also testing an area of support at the same time, then it would just increase the odds of responsive buyers stepping in the S&P as well as NQ. So off the open, how the market responds to 93 to 95 is going to help us establish our very short-term bias as long as the buy side holds ES above 93 to 95 we could still retrace back up towards 99 quarter 25 one quarter and then if we're going back up on some decent upside momentum and participation from the other markets then we don't necessarily have to get much of a response at pre-market resistance and it could lead to a move into 2504 half to 250675 where sell side could still be active given that it's a friday we're heading into the weekend anything beyond 250675 would be lower probability and in order to break beyond 250675 and the all-time high we would have to see a lot of broad market strength and some sustained upside momentum and then on the downside in order for the market to put in any kind of meaningful breakdown below 8675 to 8875 we'd have to see broad market weakness and some decent and sustained downside momentum a lack of downside momentum at 8675 can lead to the market bouncing back up towards 93 to 95 and possibly even back up towards 99 quarter to 2501 quarter so those are the main ideas heading into the open let's see how the market responds at 93 to 95 and we'll take it from there